There is heavy oakiness, sherry fruitiness. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we taste our first whiskey from Finland. It's called Terenpeli Kaski. 43% ABV and what's that? <laughs> well, uh, the Finnish language uh, came from an original language, an ancient language called Finno-Ugrish. Uh, and from this the Hungary language developed as well as the language from Finland, the Finnish language developed. And this is so different from everything we speak here in, in Europe, either English or French or German. Uh, so it's so different um, that the language does not explain itself to the people. Uh, lots of uh, umlauts and lots of sequences of equal letters and war, horrible. And uh, translated, this Tiran Peli means flirt. It's a flirt, a flirt with whiskey. Who knows? The whiskey comes from a small town in the north east of uh, the capital Helsinki, it's called Lachri, and a friend of mine, um, they used to have a farmhouse there without <laughs> running water, no, but a sauna, well, you have to uh, cut wood first <laughs> before going to the sauna. It was very remote and this town Lachti is quite small and in this small Finnish town there was a brewery and they converted that brewery in the year 2002 into this whiskey distillery or I think they, they produce in parallel and they installed pot stills over there. Um, so this one is matured in first fill sherry casks or a cask, I think it's a single cask, no, no, sherry casks and uh, the typical uh, brand from the distillery is a single malt whiskey. <clears throat> Let's have a look, it's only a half a liter bottle, 43% by volume. <clears throat> uh, Pili Single malt whiskey is distilled at Terenpeli Distillery, Lachti, Finland. Yeah, we know that. The distillery was established in 2002. Terenpeli single malt is distilled using original pot still equipment. Finnish high quality barley malt and fresh groundwater are used as raw materials. No chill filtration or coloring has been made. NC pissing with two Y's. Wow, what a, what a language. Um, how to get this bottle out of this package, it's strange. Mm -hmm. Here we go. There's a piece of wood in here. Finish. Soft wood. What's on the bottle? Kaski. Bottle number 8648. <coughs> no strong smell on the cork. As I would have thought of a sherry cask bottling. <coughs> The standard bottling, I think, has already eight years, and this one I heard of has five years of age. The color is quite dark. Um, well, a fresh sherry cask delivers most of its color in the beginning, in the first five years. Um, therefore, you have all these finishing done on Scotch whiskey because you can. Uh, bring a lot of color into the whiskey in a short time and together with the color of course the fruitiness of the wine first used in the casks. Mm. 
The aroma is not overwhelming, not intense. It is quite decent, but in this decent aroma, there's heavy oakiness, sherry fruitiness. And it smells dark and old. Quite impressive for such a young whiskey. But the aroma is not too strong, it's 43%. It's becoming stronger the longer you put your nose in the glass. Bitter oranges, a lot of oakiness, a hint of bitter chocolate, dark chocolate, maltiness, mm, don't know, fruitiness is seizing and the oranges are coming up. I had a sip a few minutes ago <clears throat> and with this second sip a lot more intense than the first one so you need to have to flirt with this whiskey yeah for a five years old it's, well, a wonderful and very intense whiskey and this bitter oranges, this oakiness, this dark sherry. The last time I tasted that so intense was at a Glen Grand from the 50s, last century. So this is for five years, it's intense and strong and yeah, old, incredibly old. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. Stay tuned and have a look at our whiskey database. Probably there are some notes of other uses to this whiskey already in there.